All right, everyone, let's get started. We have our project kickoff meeting coming up next week, and we need to finalize our agenda and presentation. Agreed. I think we should start with a brief overview of the project goals and objectives. We want to ensure everyone is on the same page from the beginning. That sounds good. We can then dive into the project scope and deliverables. It's important to clarify what's in and out of scope to manage expectations. I suggest we allocate some time to discuss the project timeline and milestones. We need to establish a clear timeline for deliverables and ensure we stay on track. And let's not forget about resources and responsibilities. We should assign tasks to team members and ensure everyone knows their role in the project. Good point. We'll also need to address communication channels and frequency. How often should we meet for updates, and how will we communicate between meetings? I think weekly progress meetings would be beneficial with daily updates via email or Slack. We should also designate a project manager to oversee communication and coordination. Agreed. And speaking of coordination, we should discuss potential risks and mitigation strategies. It's essential to identify potential obstacles early on and have a plan in place to address them. Definitely. And let's not forget about stakeholder involvement. We need to keep our stakeholders informed and engaged throughout the project life cycle. Right. We should include a section in our presentation about stakeholder communication and engagement strategies. Okay, it looks like we have a solid outline for our kickoff meeting agenda. I'll put together a draft presentation based on our discussion today and circulate it for feedback. Sounds like a plan. Let's aim to have everything finalized by the end of the week so we can hit the ground running at the kickoff meeting. Agreed. Thanks, everyone, for your input. I'm confident that with proper planning and coordination, we'll have a successful project kickoff. All right, everyone, it's time to start planning our holiday getaway. I'm thinking somewhere sunny with beautiful beaches. Sounds like a plan. I could definitely use a break from this chilly weather. How about a beach destination in the Caribbean? That sounds amazing. We could spend our days lounging on the beach, snorkeling, and soaking up the sun. Count me in. But let's make sure we consider everyone's preferences. Some might prefer a more adventurous destination with hiking and exploring. That's a good point. How about we look into destinations that offer a mix of relaxation and adventure? Maybe somewhere like Costa Rica or Hawaii. I love that idea. Costa Rica has beautiful beaches, lush rainforests, and plenty of outdoor activities like zip lining and surfing. Plus, Costa Rica is known for its ecotourism and sustainable practices. It would be great to support a destination that prioritizes environmental conservation. Agreed. Let's start researching accommodations and activities in Costa Rica. We should also consider our budget and make sure we find options that are affordable for everyone. I'll take care of researching accommodation options, from beachfront resorts to eco-friendly lodges in the rainforest. And I'll look into booking activities like guided hikes, waterfall rappelling, and maybe even a visit to a local coffee plantation. Sounds like a plan. In the meantime, let's make a list of essentials we'll need to pack, like sunscreen, bug spray, and comfortable hiking shoes. Don't forget the camera. We'll want to capture all the beautiful memories we make on this trip. Absolutely. And let's also consider any COVID-19 travel restrictions or guidelines for Costa Rica. We want to ensure a safe and enjoyable trip for everyone. Good point. I'll make sure to stay updated on any travel advisories and requirements for our destination. All right, it looks like we have a solid plan in place. 
I can't wait to embark on this adventure together. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and share to receive more videos like this in the future. Hey everyone, are you ready for a day of retail therapy? Absolutely. I've been waiting for this all week. Let's hit up some of our favorite stores and maybe discover some new ones along the way. Sounds like a plan. I'm on the lookout for a new dress for an upcoming event. Any suggestions on where to start? How about we check out that boutique down the street? They always have unique pieces, and I'm sure you'll find something perfect there. And while we're at it, I need to pick up a few basics like jeans and t-shirts. Maybe we can swing by the department store next? Sure thing. Let's divide and conquer. We can split up to cover more ground and then regroup for lunch at the food court. Sounds like a plan. But before we split up, let's set a meeting point and time to regroup. How about by the fountain in the center of the mall at one o'clock? Works for me. Let's make sure to keep our phones handy in case we need to reach each other. Agreed. All right, team, let's go find some great deals and fabulous fashion. What do you guys think? Should I go for the skinny jeans or the boyfriend fit? I think the boyfriend fit looks great on you. It's casual yet stylish. How about this one for the event? Too formal or just right? I love it. The color and style are perfect for the occasion. Mission accomplished, everyone. I found some great deals on shirts and shorts. I snagged the jeans and a few tops I needed. Plus, I found a cute accessory for the event. I'm happy with my dress find, and I also picked up a few skincare products I've been eyeing. I'm happy with my dress find, and I also picked up a few skincare products I've been eyeing. And I couldn't resist grabbing a new pair of sneakers. Overall, a successful shopping day. Agreed. Now. Who's ready for some lunch? I'm starving. <laughs>